I'd like to now focus on the post inside of post.hbs. This is of course inside of our root folder. And what this allows us to do is determine how our post looks on screen. At this point in time, it looks very basic. We simply have some text in the form of a H1 and this content inside of this section. So the first thing I'd like to do at this point is incorporate that default template. And that can be done with the two handlebars, the exclamation mark, the less than sign, and then we say default. When we refresh our page, you can see that now our post looks a little different. We have our footer, we have our header, and then we have our content here in the middle. What I want to do at this point is display this feature image inside of the header. So if we simply had an image tag and we added the source of the image equal to feature underscore image, and we refreshed our page, you'd see that we then have this feature image. On top of that image, I also want to add a title with some text and perhaps the date in which the post was published. So what we then need to do is give this the class, the header that is, of post underscore underscore background image. And I'm going to set the background image of this header equal to the URL of our feature image. So we can remove that image tag now. When we do that, you'll notice it goes super small as it only encompasses the size of that title. We'll be changing that very soon, hence why we added this class for our post background image. We'll then add a div which encompasses the post background image text. And we can add our h1 to that. And our h1 will have the class of title and has text white. When we save this, you can see we now have white text. It doesn't change how our text looks or immediately how our header looks, simply because we haven't created those classes inside of a CSS file. Don't worry about that for now. The only other thing that I'd like to do is simply add a time element that will have the class of subtitle and has text white. We'll add the date to this in the format of day, day, month, 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 year, 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 year. So we should have DD, four M's and four Y's. When we save this, we then have welcome to ghost and the 2nd of October, 2017. This will be different for you depending on when you've created your ghost instance. But for now, that should do as our header. What we then need to do is add some CSS classes to change how this looks. So let's take a look at adding some custom assets into our project in the next video.